Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we faced off against Bad Girl, the uh, craziest person we've met so far, maybe aside from Job Guy. She took a great deal of pleasure in the pain of others, filled up this pit with meat, and uh, the, presumably the meat of people she had beaten to a pulp. I'd like to hang out in... I can't remember what this place is called. It's like a golf driving uh, range, except uh, for baseball. Like a pitching practice zone. <laughs> Not bad. Yes. Maximum vitality increased. I guess this is where Sylvia rolls in. How did I get into this room? Oh, it must be one of these. I really like, by the way, that they actually render the beer can on the floor this whole time. Even during the fight, it was there. Eh, nothing funny over here, just the Chiller 7 logo. On behalf of Sylvia Crystal... I am here to tell you that you are now officially ranked second. Thanks. That was a close one. It was. Almost didn't make it. It was a fine fight, sir. Shit, that was close. My belt. I don't think they animated that guy's mouth. Hell yes! That was marvelous. I feel good about it. Goodbye, bad girl. Hello, Travis Touchdown. Silly to begin with. Surely the uh, assassin rankings should be based on their uh, skills as an assassin. I'm going to save over this one and not the stadium basement, just in case I fucked up and didn't grab the, uh, the, uh, the cards. Rank two, baby! Sorry to inform you that your video membership will be revoked until you return one of our videos. It's titled, French Made Cafe Spilled Coffee. Please return it soon. Sorry, Diane. Good morning, Mr. Touchdown. I wish you a pleasant journey. Was that Henry? He had an, uh, an Irish accent at the end. Explanation of the mission Travis to Travis Touchdown from the UAA. Title, Invoice. The UAA wishes to inform you that the entry fee for your next ranked fight is as follows. Rank 1. 550,000 LB dollars. Please deposit the above amount as soon as possible. Hell yeah. Mask of the Legendary Wrestler, El Busto. Mask of the Legendary Wrestler, La Tierra. Mask of the Legendary Wrestler, La Fleur. Mask of the Legendary Wrestler, El Sol. Mask of the Legendary Wrestler, La Luvia. I think you have to like roll the L there, but I don't know how to do that. El Sol sounds like the sun to me. But I don't know what that, or the other one that looks like that. One row to go. And 
I did notice... Yeah, three of them are over there. There was three matching ones I was just talking about, in fact. Oh, and the other one is... If you look at the figurines uh, on the second shelf from the top, the uh, red-headed girl, it's just to the left of her face. <laughs> Hold on, me. I'm gonna throw at all of my beer, because I don't want to become like her. And, uh, let me see here. I did have, uh, other things. <laughs> Shout out to Yornick, who says, LB dollars stands for Lyrical Ballad Dollars. They are sensitive souls, these Santa Destroyans. So their choice in currency reflects that. At this point, I myself am interested in seeing for how long I can keep this shit up. <laughs> Uh, and shout out to Derek Floyd, who says that Sylvia must be far stronger than she looks, since she tossed Speedbuster's head like it was made of paper mache. An adult human head weighs about nine pounds or four kilograms on its own, the same as a small bowling ball. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> oh, and while we're here, shout out to Roshan, who, uh, is claiming credit for calling it, given that the cat really did lead to someone getting killed since Thunder Ryu was distracted. Don't worry, Jean, I still love you. <laughs> yes, excellent. Later, Jean. A new part-time job is available. I already have enough money for the entrance fee for the next ranking battle. Make the payment at an ATM. Ah, Spell Tiger, excellent. I was a little bit worried about that after it got beaten to death. Huh, I just realized that message didn't actually start with, Hello, this is Diane from Beefhead Videos. I guess she was just being real and gone. Well, I've called this guy every day for the last month, or whatever it was. Um... Where to first? I guess Naomi, since she's right there. Don't lay a single finger on anything. Oh yeah, it's done. This one's damn good. Of all the ones I made, this one's definitely up there. Oh no, my dollary dues. Subaki Mark III, uh, a beam katana created by Naomi, the finished model. This one has a Japanese symbol on the end, but I don't have the foggiest idea what it stands for. That does seem a bit pretentious. Well, I really should. Uh, that? Here. And no new parts. But that's okay. You otaku. I mean, she says that, but she's the white woman who named all of the, uh, things she invented Tsubaki. I'm just saying. But this time, I'm not fooled. The fuck? Okay. I just glanced down here since I wanted to do that, and then glanced down on the other side because I wanted to do that too. I've ever actually been in here. Oh, apparently I have. Hmm. 
looked on the mini map like it got moved back friends, to the but shit like this won't fly back to the motel Okay, I'm gonna smooth things over with him by hopefully buying a video from his place if he has anything to offer. But, um, the first thing I want to do, even though I haven't unlocked the new ones by doing the part time job yet, I want to see this sword in action the right way, rather than just stabbing the ground or whatever. Hello, Travis. Hello, the secretary. I was going to make fun of her, because then I realized I don't actually know what her name is, so, uh... Ah, there it is, Swordmaster! May you find your Search for the target point. Check the target point on the map. I'm really surprised I didn't crash there. I was totally okay with that idea. I'm not sorry. Here we go. Of course he does, I think he's drawing a katana. <gasps> it's green! And the blade looks really cool! And it's just the one, but... Oh my god! One hit! They throw, my dude! This is awesome! I was actually- oh, man. Of course! Of course the best laser sword in the game uh, from Japan is the one that most directly mimics an actual katana! It's even curved! The blade is curved! Oh, there's other lines that appear. I don't know what the fuck is up with that. How dare you! Bitchin'! Yes, that was a perfect way to do that. Hell yeah. Okay! You know, I was actually overthinking this the other day. I was thinking, if this is Mark II, and they did, they have suggested there's another one. Just because of genre, you know, standards, I was expecting it to be a single-bladed weapon. But, oh my god. You know, I was actually thinking, I really like this big heavy mace one, because I am not a very subtle person. Maybe I'll just stick with that one. But I like so many things about this one. It's the first one I've seen of the green blade, and that's fucking sick. I mean, it's a bit pretentious. I have not mastered secret of cross cross yet. With the kanji or whatever it's called there. Coconut collector. Can that coconuts perform a rolling so bad? What am I doing? Bike jump. Jump your bike off the point. Try to fly as far as possible. Iron claw point. Yeah, that sounds like it, as stipulated by contest rules. I want you to be honest with me, my dude. You just want to see if I'll do it, don't you?
I notice that the ramp is now marked on the map. I wonder. Oh shit, yeah, there it is. Hmm. That's a little disappointing. Does it add it there? You would think it would just be a straight line away. I've just realized, you know, it just sort of sunk, sunk in, that this is a job posting, where the guy's job is, I want to see you drive your own personal vehicle off a cliff into the ocean. And make it as awesome as possible. I would not be surprised if it turns out job guy is secretly like an eccentric billionaire, and this is uh, what he does for fun. You believe in the unspoken rules of Santa Destroy? There's no culture here. Nothing but dropouts. And that even dropouts can create their own culture. Ride those waves, dropouts. Ride those, erase those bikes. But the biggest dropouts of all, they jump. A good jump will jumpstart your future. It's a world that only those who experience it can understand. A wide and wonderful world. The god of jumping awaits you. Jump long and jump hard. Bike jump start! Speed up and jump from the ramp on the point! Perform a well-timed wheelie jump to jump further. Oh! That took me a second. The fuck? Uh, why can't I get on the dam? There we go. Do I want to hit these or no? Fuck. Oh my god, that worked, or I would have been stuck in the wall forever. Oh shit. I thought it was right there. No, there it is! Okay, wheelie jump, huh? What? I don't understand. I jumped and it didn't work. Did more of those balls on the way? They didn't seem to collect or anything. <laughs> no, I'm just driving over them. Unless they just want me to do the wheelie right at the base of the ramp, I genuinely have no idea what the fuck they're talking about here. Well, that's bad. Well, this is the last uh, episode of the session. I'll be able to look it up between, I guess. It's just... Three, two, not feeling like a luminary right now. Why did I start with that? And what the fuck does that mean? What is Suda 51 even on? Like, where did he even get that sample from? Sorry? 
I did not jump 67 yards. I did a wheelie. And I was given no dollars <laughs> and no rank. And the guy isn't even here. He doesn't give me the... Oh, right! He didn't give me the, uh... The thing. Fuck me. He didn't give me the, uh... The job. Uh. Okay. Okay, that sucked. So I guess I'll finish things off on a more positive note by hitting Beefhead up. Hi, Bishop. Travis, you couldn't have come over at a better time, huh? You're Travis, not how's Biz? By the way, that thing you wanted hasn't come in yet, still. So it'll be today. Fuck! I can't you know, make up him for that drive earlier. Back again. Ah, oh, well. I don't feel great about that. It's like the fucking uh, jumping down attack, as they called it. Like, how difficult would it have been to have it say, uh, you know, a, what was it, a jumping down attack becomes available? So it could say something like, a jumping down attack can be performed on downed enemies. Oh, that's actually perfect. Well, at least we got my shiny new uh, beam katana. I didn't say it the other thing this time. I don't know, Gene. Maybe this job guy has finally lost his fucking mind. <laughs> you hungry? There you go. There, there. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play No More Heroes. When we, uh, figure out this ramp thing, you know, earns a lot more money, and then face the greatest assassin in the world, according to the UAA. It should be exciting. Yeah. Man, what a weird game. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. Later.